Many vehicles today come with a spare tire, either standard, like the one on our Jeep, or as an option. We found that a lot of RVs, you can order a spare tire as an option, especially on Class C's, Class B's, and a lot of the towables out there. However, our Class A RV didn't come with a spare, and the manufacturer didn't offer one as an option. So we were looking at ways to bring a spare tire with us, either roof mount it on the top of our Jeep with a rack, uh, try to find some space in a bay where we could stick a tire, although that really wasn't an option for us, or find another solution where we could bring a spare tire along with us, but keep it out of the way. You might be asking why we wanted to get a spare. A lot of people have said we're crazy for getting a spare on our RV, but we look at it as an insurance policy. We've met a lot of people in our travels that had blown a tire at one point or another, and when they called their roadside assistants to come change it for them, the people who came out didn't have the size tire that they needed, so they were either stuck in that area for a long time, or they had to pay a premium price to have that tire ordered and shipped to them right away so they weren't stuck. The biggest problem we heard about was when someone blew a tire, as they were driving off the road on that tire, their aluminum rims got shredded and were unusable, which means they had to find a replacement rim before they could get that tire mounted and get back on the road. For those of you who have looked for rims, you know it can be a difficult proposition if you have an odd sized tire. So to answer the question as to why we wanted a spare tire, we simply didn't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere. We did have roadside assistance through Ford, and like many roadside assistance programs, it's not guaranteed that they're going to have the tire we need if and when we break down. That's why we wanted to bring a spare with us. We go to a lot of out of the way places, we do BLM camping, we're going off road. So we wanted to make sure that we would always have a tire if we ever needed it. This was an important insurance policy that we were willing to pay for. For those of you with large DPs, you may be running on the same size tire that a standard over the road truck uses. If that's the case, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to find a tire if and when yours blows down the road. Our gas Class A coach had a very specific tire and wheel size. We only found those on similar sized gas RVs, which meant when we went to try and find a spare to carry one to motorhome, it was actually very difficult to find a rim in that size. A little easier to find the tire, but we could only get the tire at RV shops. So another reason to consider taking a spare with you if you have an odd sized tire. We ended up getting a Roadmaster spare tire carrier. This was perfect for us because it could be mounted in the hitch receiver of our RV and it would allow us to still use our Ready Brute Elite tow bar. Installation was fairly straightforward. The bottom portion goes into the hitch receiver. Then I bolted up the top section which holds the wheel and locked it in place with a wing nut. The only thing we need to do after that was find a spare tire and wheel to put on there. You're probably going to lose about 200 pounds of hitch capacity. The tire itself, depending on your size, is going to weigh anywhere from about 100 to 150 pounds. Plus, I believe the tire carrier itself weighs about another 70 pounds. So that's something to take into consideration. The most challenging thing for us was sourcing a rim. As far as I could tell, these rims only went on Ford Motorhome chassis. So I was trying to find them at scrapyards and other places. We ended up finding a rim that had come off of a Canyon Star because of cosmetic damage. It was still usable, and then we went to a RV dealership and ordered the tire in the correct size to put it on that rim. Believe it or not, the easiest part of all of this was actually mounting the tire onto the carrier. The carrier has a very nice setup where you can lower the plate down, you roll the tire over to the carrier, and then you bolt it up and then lift it up with an arm that they provide to make it easy enough for one person to do. The great thing for those of you with a DP is that the tire is very easy to lift up and down with one person. That makes accessing the rear hatch of your DP a much simpler process. In 15,000 miles with our RV, we never had a blown tire, but we were always happy to have that spare tire with us. Anytime we went into remote areas, it was peace of mind having that there with us in case we needed it. Carrying a spare tire on a Class A motorhome is not for everyone, but if you are in the market, the Roadmaster Spare Tire Carrier is a great option to consider. If you would like to see the full review for the Roadmaster Spare Tire, I will put a link in the description below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.